So you would think that the banks, the central banks, the government, all parties involved are driving our country away from cash. Yet, ironically, maybe the banks are driving everyone away from cash. Yeah, because it's not like the government sits there and holds on to cash money. It's the banks that are supposed to have the cash money in the locations. Well, we've got an uh, example here, and this may be uh, a warning sign to people. I guess I need to preface this with, hello, welcome to the channel. You sound like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> My name is Kevin. <laughs> Let me think. Let me think of all the comments of people telling me how I should run my channel. Uh, don't not introduce you, a regular to the channel. Don't do it. Just wait and see what happens. <laughs> this is the other person on the video. But anyway, no, it's, to be fair, for some people who have never watched before, Scroll Tribe, Michelle, my wife. Hello. But uh, I've made videos before in the past discussing some information shared, leaked insider intel from banks from businesses but this one in particular is um pnc somebody somebody actually said you must have a some you must have uh something against wells fargo because you only talk about wells fargo bank i've never seen you talk about any other bank i'm like well then you haven't watched my videos because uh i've talked about wells fargo i've talked about pnc i've talked about bank of america i've talked about many well say don't forget svb and uh all those other ones. So some of you, some of y'all may have seen this. I'm not sure if you can see this up. on my on my high tech setup here. Screen and sharing. The sunlight. The answer is no. Because uh, I'm looking at the video and I can't see it. Wish you were here. <coughs> that way you could uh, <laughs> one, you can go inside and buy us a drink, and two, you'll be able to see this video, which probably not going to play through here. But check this out. Blue dyed money. Here, check it out. They can't see it from here. Here. Those dyed bills. Well, this customer says after inserting a card into this ATM machine, she received dyed money. Now she says she's stuck with money she can't use. What am I to do? $360? We need to know what to do. It's damaged and dyed money. Tawana Brown and other PNC ATM users say they received from this McDonough ATM. I got the money out and just put it in my purse. Brown says later that day when reaching for the money to pay for food, she noticed $360 from an $800 withdrawal covered in blue dye. I can't use it. It's not, mm -mm, no one will take it. Brown says she was told by a manager at this Stockbridge PNC Bank branch that while this has happened to other customers, they couldn't take the money back. He basically told me or made me feel like <laughs> kick rocks. It's not our you know, responsibility. I was livid. I was. I was really mad. Brown says the money was meant for her brother's mortgage payment, a payment she says they're now behind on. It's really frustrating. I reached out to PNC and a spokesperson said they're collaborating with their vendor to investigate reports of damaged bills within certain PNC ATMs and are working to support any impacted individuals. The Georgia Bankers Association says while it's unusual for an ATM to dispense unfit money, it isn't impossible. They suggest effective the customers keep all transaction receipts. The GBA also says if this happens at a bank where you don't hold an account, you'll be subject to that bank's policy for non-customers. Because I needed to know who responsibility was it. Because he simply said that it wasn't their responsibility to give me my money back. And I reached out to McDonald's police to see if they responded to this ATM. We're waiting to hear back. And McDonough actually... All right. So I have thoughts on that immediately. This is so jacked up. Uh, for so many different reasons, but if you guys watched the video I put up this morning about Bank of America not uh, depositing the cash that was put into the ATM in Grayson by a man who put in two hundred and forty, two hundred and sixty dollars in the ATM, and he only got he only got a twenty dollar deposit. Uh, 
same situation because the banks know that there's a problem with these ATMs, yet they don't address it and they let the ATMs continue to malfunction. Now, especially if those ATMs aren't on a building, because you know Bank of America, they have freestanding ATMs in like the Dollar Tree parking lot. There's one of those in, where is it, Decula or Beaufort or somewhere? There's the freestanding ones. You but if it's drive got the banks, if the <clears throat> bank owns it, I'm not talking about a third party bank or ATM that anybody could go buy mm -hmm. and place and fill and operate uh -huh. as a sweet little side hustle gig. I'm talking about the bank-owned ATMs. Well, the bank may own it, but it doesn't mean that it's a bank employee that's filling the ATMs. It could still be a third party, uh, third party that's doing the ATM maintenance well, and things this, like that. In this situation, as far as it's spitting out the, 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 the bills, uh -huh. the other story was the bank literally said, we know that the, the ATM has a problem. We know that it has continuously uh, malfunctioned and hasn't deposited people's money like it's supposed to. And how do you so, prove how much you actually deposited? So this has nothing to do with who's <clears throat> okay. actually like Brinks or, uh, okay. I can't remember the other name, Loomis, the other companies that deposit, that put uh -huh. the money in. But here's the deal. You know how bills get blue on it, right? Well, here's the deal. Now, maybe, maybe it's not just the Fed. Maybe it's not just the central banks. Maybe it's not just Biden with executive order 14067. Maybe it's not CBDC alone and Fed now and ISO 20022. What if, again, the banks, they don't want cash. Mm -hmm. Businesses don't want cash. Mm -hmm. Businesses don't want cash because of all the risks and liabilities associated with them, but also because the banks don't want them or want it. So businesses that are heavy in cash trying to conduct business at a bank are going to get the third degree. They're going to get a cold shoulder. Mm -hmm. While the banks are working to convince the customers that we don't want cash either. Why? Because the cash that you put into the ATM disappears and it doesn't get credited and deposited to your account, mm -hmm. which I have a variety of reasons why I would never deposit cash in an ATM. Go check out that video from earlier today. But then on top of that, the money that you withdraw is no good. And there's nothing that they can or will do about it. Oh, Sorry. There's stuff they can do, they Sorry. won't do. Sorry. I wish I could help you. Now, this is a normal standard protocol for the banks when there's a problem. Their standard MO across the board is, sorry, there's nothing we can do. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. Sorry, there's nothing we can do. What I thought was interesting is when they said, if you're going to somebody else's bank um, and you're not a member there or a, you don't bank there, you're probably even more up a creek because they have no need to be loyal to you because they're not already holding any of your money. Basically, you were pulling money from them. Well, this woman, I think, might have probably been. I don't know if she was a PNC bank customer, but they were like, look, there's nothing we can do. But here's the deal, folks. Think about it like this. I don't know for a fact this is how it works. But again, as the challenges continue to make doing business harder and harder and harder, businesses evolve and they move away from the problems. Walmart's doing it. They're closing down stores. They're shutting down stores. Uh, Cracker Barrel's doing it. Target's doing it. Bed Bath & Beyond's doing it. Um, all these companies are doing it. They're, they're moving away from the problems. Mm -hmm. Problem people, problem areas, problem cities, problem zip codes, problem states. Problem um, payment transactions. How many companies are leaving California? But here's the deal. Uh, the banks are not necessarily going to be put on the hook. And this is what I was telling you guys about months ago. The banks, they know and they knew that a problem was coming and it was growing and it was brewing as far as uh, uh, the theft and the uh, protections and, you know, covering people's accounts for all the wrongdoing that was about to occur, that is occurring and being uh, shared on the news and mainstream media now. The banks already face liquidity concerns and crisis, potential contagion, s systemic risk, uh, all brought to light by Silicon Valley Bank SVB. And then you add on top of that, they got to start reimbursing people for bad cash. They ain't going to do it. But how do they get away with it? We just make it so that people don't want to deal with cash. We just make it so they don't want to deal with cash. How does blue dye end up on money? So blue dye ends up on money because generally speaking, the blue dye is what's put into like ransom bags and stolen bags and money that's in the Loomis trucks and stuff like that. So if anybody takes it, tries to open it, poof, I learned this on Ocean's Eleven or someplace like that. I don't know where, um, but that's what happens. But my thought process is 
it's possible the the PNC at the ATM they don't know if you put money into an ATM that money then turns around and goes back out to the next person who comes to take money out of the ATM so somebody could have robbed a bag of money from somebody and then gone oh well what, what am I going to do with this deposit it into their account through an ATM where nobody can see exactly what's on it and they get their money but the next person who comes to take money out of the ATM gets blue money and they're screwed it could be it could even be a shadow account it could it may not even be their account mm -hmm. somebody thinks oh i just lost my debit card you think that you know this scam was designed to steal your money when actually the scam was designed to launder the money through your account mm -hmm. which could potentially put you in the hot seat and have some serious explanations to make but uh the the die packs that go off in the money it's like literally just that we can put it in the atm wait and, and then go to a different atm and pull it out mm -hmm. and everything's everything's all good the people mm -hmm. you know who get it uh in their next withdrawal they're the ones that have to deal with the problem yep and they're the ones that have to deal with the problem and again this is part of why cbdc is being introduced is because they want to cut down on the ability to launder money They'll still find a way to launder it. It'll just be from account number to account number. That well, I, I'm sure it'd well, be much harder to do. Well, that's why the CBDC is going to have the tracking and tracing capabilities, yep. as well as we're going to move away from the dollar, like physical dollars. Mm -hmm. We're going to move away from it so that it can be tracked, and people will accept it and beg for it because that lady, that woman, who just got screwed out of three hundred something dollars, mm -hmm. that guy that got gypped out of 200 something dollars on a deposit in, in Grayson they'll openly accept it and beg for it mm -hmm. because they've been down that road they've gotten screwed and yeah so what if CBDC central bank digital currency has numerous uh, infringements against our rights as US citizens at least my money won't be stolen by criminals it'll at least only be stolen by the government as long as you understand crazy time folks Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've ever had any issues depositing money at the banks at the ATMs or withdrawing money from the ATMs. What if the banks themselves are running so low on cash that they are actually putting money in the ATMs with the blue dye on it? Because that's the bottom of the barrel. That's the that's the the, the crumbs. At the bottom the of the bag. That's the crumbs at the bottom of the bag. Uh huh. I thought about that too. Let me know what you guys think. You guys take care. Be safe. Make sure you go check out Squirrel Trap, Squirrel Trap 2.0. Give this video a like. Comment down below. Comments, questions, concerns. And as always, be safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.